Right, Balkis can hear me clearly. Okay, there's only 45 of you here, but we're going to start the class. Okay, okay as I told you earlier, we're going to talk about the quality function deployment or the house of quality. Okay, um, the house of quality, you know, uh, you have we have learned about voice of the customer, voice of the market. In the house of quality, it's also called the product planning matrix. It shows how you incorporate the customer requirement into your design. Remember, we are looking at our product and process design. So it shows uh, QFD, show how you integrate, right, these two. To, to get into uh, to into your design and then it helps you to make decisions okay so if you are designing a product or you're improving a product then by in, uh, so you know okay uh, you have a product and then you you get feedback from the customer and the customer will then um, give it back to you what is important to them to on, on that product. So you match it with your design. So you will know which improvement, which area of improvement that you should do first so that you will have the best results. Okay? That means once the, you have done the uh, improvement, then the customer will be most satisfied. Okay, I, I actually, I, 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 I send you a WhatsApp because I want to, do, I want the book because for, it's difficult for me to show you because we are not face to face. So I think it's right in slide, you should use the book. Okay, we should, um, where's my book now? Okay, can, can you see the book? Can everyone see the book? Can you please turn to page 180? Okay. You cannot see the book? Okay, hold on. Let me stop sharing and share my book. Okay, now, can you see the book? Okay, right. Okay, good. Yeah, you can see the book now. Okay, uh, the main thing is I want you to understand how to calculate, okay? One of the, at least as a qualities management student, you will know how to calculate the house of quality, right? So please remember that, as I said earlier, the aim is to make decisions which improvements or what shall you change in your design in order uh, for the customer to be most satisfied okay we call it qfd for short it is quality function deployment okay it's much easier if we do it like this okay this is the house of quality okay first what you must do is you develop a list. This is the list of customer requirements. Okay. Customer requirements. And this shows you the technical requirements. That means what design that you want to do, want to have change. Okay. Here, it shows you where you are in the market. Whether you are number one, number two, number three, number four, or number five. This is competitive assessment. Okay. All this, right, you will, will feel the, um, uh, they, they will, some figures they will give you, but certain figures you have to calculate. Okay. So this is the competitive assessment for the technical requirements. Right? This is the competitive assessment 
for the customer requirements. Okay. These are the requirements, sir. Type a uh, technical requirement, type of tile, dirt resistant of the floor. I think this is for a restaurant, okay? Seat material, server training, menu standardization. And customer requirement is um, clean facilities, comfortable seating, glitches food, and responsive service, okay? Well, it's still technical and design element. Okay, you have developed here. First, just now, the in one, they asked you to develop customer requirement, develop technical requirement. All this will be given to you. You don't have to, uh, you know, but maybe when, in, if you're working, they want you to develop a house of quality, uh, then you will have to do this, okay? Okay, uh, demonstrate the relationship between the customer requirement and technical Design in figure seven six. Okay, these are symbols. Okay, the dot, a uh, dark dot, black color is that means they shows a strong association. Okay, the circle, the white circle here is, uh, so the, the value is the dark spot is the value is nine. The circle, uh, the white circle, the value is three. That means it is somewhat associated. Okay. And then the triangle is one. It shows weak association. So we look at this. Remember, we have already developed this, right? So we want to see the association. Okay. We look at the customer facilities and type of tile. Does it have strong relationship or weak relationship? Anybody? Strong. Right? Balki says strong. Because facilities, the, your whole restaurant, right? So it depends on the tiles. Sometimes, uh, if you have ever involved in uh, looking at tiles, that means... Um, you can see whether the, the tiles is rough or the tiles is smooth, so okay. Or if you want to put white tiles or black tiles in a restaurant, so it's up to you. So it has a strong relationship with clean facilities. Okay, how about comfortable seating? Okay, does it have any? Relationship with type of tile and dirt resistant floor. They're not related, right? If you look at clean facilities, it has an association with dirt resistant or floor tiles. That means it's the floor that, you know, doesn't hold the dust. Okay? Clean facilities with seat materials so we have you know somewhat associated it's not really a strong association okay clean facilities and server training okay the author gave a one that means this one symbolized number one it shows weak association why can anybody answer? Why does server training doesn't have any, does, that means not doesn't have, that means there's a weak relationship with clean facilities. You can answer. Come on, think. Um, I think they serve the food to the customer uh, properly without uh, like the food drop or anything so can avoid the, the tea. Okay, weak, right? That, but here it shows that the server doesn't have anything to do with the floor. I mean, with the clean facilities. 
Yes, they helps. But when you are team first, that means here you are designing. You are designing the floor, right? So the server has very. There is a relationship, as what you said, but there is a very very weak relationship. Okay. Clean facilities with menu standardization. Of course, we can see there's nothing, there's, uh, there's no relationship at all between menu standardization and clean facilities. Okay? So that's how you show the relationship. Okay? This will be given to you, right? The relationship will be given to you usually. Okay? Okay, identify the correlation part of the calculation, so I, I won't confuse you, right? But you can see that, uh, see here, type of tile and dead resistance, strong, okay? Strong positive, right? Type of tiles and seed material right is positive so there is a relationship so type of tiles with server training okay no there's nothing there is no relationship okay so that's how you you put the intercorrelation between the roof and the uh, you know, the technical requirements, okay? So, number five is perform a competitive assessment of the customer requirement. So, where is it? Figure 7, 8. We look at figure 7, 8. Okay, yeah, see? Competitive assessment. This is, let's say, your competitors. One, two, three. No, sorry. This is the numbers here. So, this is where you are. This is you, that is us, this is company B, restaurant B maybe, this is restaurant A. So if you look at clean facilities, you are number three. Okay? All right? Company B is four, now company uh, A is five. All right? If you look at comfortable seats, you are number four, right? Number B is five and A is number three. Delicious food, okay? You are number still number four. B is number two. A is number five. Responsive servers. That means your servers are very good, well trained. You are still number four, right? A is number five and B is number three. Okay. So, you see, you know where you are. When you look at the voice of the market, you are comparing. See, B means competitor B. A is also competitor. So, you know. In okay, when you when you have a restaurant, you say okay. The servers are very good, so they will go to A. So if you look at this competitive assessment, which restaurant is the best? A, B, or us? Okay, A, B, or us? If you look at the um, assessment. Farah Izati, is, is she here? Farah Izati, if you look at the competitive assessment, who is the strongest? A, right? A lot of people say A. Okay, because A scored five, three times. Okay. B scored five once and us doesn't have any five. That means we, it shows that 
we must improve, right? Okay. If for comfortable seats, we must improve. Then, yes. Any question? Any question? Can I proceed? I heard somebody wants to ask a question. Any question? Okay. If none, then we continue. You prioritize customer requirement. Okay, in figure seven nine. Okay. Seven nine. Yeah. Okay. What which is important to the customer? Okay. Right? Still, what is important to the customer is we have menu standardization. We have good menu standardization, right? As compared to the rest. Okay. So then we look again at number six. On the far side of figure 7.9, a customer requirement priorities. The priorities include importance to customer target value, blah, blah, blah. You can read this. Okay. Customer requirement with low competitive assessment and high importance are candidates. So customer requirements with low competitive assessments and high importance are candidates for improvement. That's where you should improve. Okay. The sale, okay, the sales point of uh, is established by the QFD team members, so they will be, be given to you. So, firstly, you must find the absolute weight of customer, uh, absolute weight, that means of customer. So, you look customer importance times target value times sales point, okay? So, this can be seen in... Figure seven nine, I think. Oops, sorry. Figure seven nine. Okay, here. Okay. This is where the calculation comes in. Just now you see this is empty, right? Okay. Okay. This one is just here, so they change it a bit. See? Okay. This is where the calculation starts. So please uh, pay attention. Okay. First, you calculate the absolute weight, right? That's not, you ask you to calculate the absolute weight. The absolute weight is um, the customer requirement, requirements times the target value and sales point. So 9 times 3 times 1, you get 27. Okay. You must know this, right? So, 6 times 5 times 1 for comfortable seating. So, the absolute weight is 30. 8 times 4 times 2, you get 64. 7 times 4 times 2, you get 56. Okay? First, before you do any calculation, you must calculate this. Okay? Okay, right now, you see, if you look at properly, it's not complicated. This, this, you have to put, you have to calculate the compute, compute re, re, relative weight. That's why you need to calculate the absolute weight first here. Right? So, the question will be for you to calculate absolute weight and absolute factor here is absolute factor relative weight and relative factor okay that is what you must do okay so 
how do you get 81? That's why I need to use the book. If I show you, if in class I can show you on the whiteboard, it's difficult, I cannot show you, right? So, how do you get 81? Anybody? This answer, at least you can help your friends. I hope that all of you buy the book. Now it's only nine, nine, nine ringgit. I just bought, but I didn't know whether I get it or not. Because <laughs> I don't know how to shop in Shopee. Okay. Nine times nine, where? What times what? You see? Please remember, importance, right? Here. This column, the association times the importance. Then you put the value on the absolute weight. Okay? This is for type of tiles. Oops, sorry. Okay? This class will only learn this only, okay? Only QFD, okay? Right? So, okay. So, how do you get the next one? Anybody? Please answer. How you get 81? For dirt resistance of the floor tiles, this column. How do you get 81? Can I draw it? Uh, how you get that? How you get 81? Importance times dirt resistant, right? Is the same. Important because this is the same importance time dirt resistant. Okay. Right? Then how do you get 81 for this? How do you get 81? Can you see? 81 for seed materials. It's better that you, you talk to me. How do you get that? Because there's going to be homework, so you better know how to do this. If you don't know, you ask me. We are doing this exercise in class, okay? It's a bit complicated, but once you know it, it's very easy. Okay, anybody? How do you get 81? Can I ask? Yung Woo Jin? How do I get 81? Come on, this is exercise in class. If you try, if you don't know, you ask me. Because I don't know. I want to show you, but I want to ask you to think. Because if you don't really understand, it's difficult for you to do the homework. How do you get 81 for seed material? Seed material, somebody, Yun Sheng say, seed materials times absolute weight. Seed materials times absolute weight. This is absolute weight. S 
the white circle is 3. Okay. The white circle is 3. Okay. The white circle is 3. Remember here, yeah? 3 times 9. 3 times 9 is what? 27. But the answer is 81. How do you get that? If you follow this, 3 times 9 is 27. Uh, 27 plus 54. 27 plus 54, yes. Because if it is in this line, you must plus, okay? 9, 3 times 9 plus 9 times 6, right? You must go down, okay? So you will get 81. Right? Okay, uh, I want one of you to tell me how we got 80. How you get 80. Come on, be brave. How do you get 80? What times what? What plus what times what? Okay. Who wants to be the brave one? Uh, uh, doctor. Lily? Uh, server, server training times, uh, time with uh, nine. Uh, okay. Then it's we get nine. Server training is one, right? Week yes, association, yeah. okay. One times nine, then? Then, uh, uh go to, then, the then, uh, once, uh, for the server training, times by eight. Okay. Uh, we one get eight. Eight, yeah. Then, uh, the server training, nine, we times by seven. Get sixty-three. Okay. So, then we plus then we press T of this, we will get 80. 80, okay, good, good. Right, that's how you get, okay? So, it's the same. so it is the same as menu standardization for delicious food, there's a strong association. So, 9 times 8 plus... Here, yeah, responsive servers is 3 times 7. So you get a 93. Okay? That's how you get a 93. Okay? Get a 93. Okay. Now, the sec now we want to find the relative weight. The relative weight. First, you find the absolute weight. Now, we want to find the relative weight. Okay. The relative weight for, okay, we follow. For relative weight, instead of the association times the uh, absolute weight, yeah, times the importance, sorry, you must times the absolute weight. So, 9 times 27 yeah nine times this hold on now let me color it pink yeah so association times um the absolute weight then you get here you get the relative weight 
Okay, you get the relative weight. You got it? I color this. So I cannot color this one. Never mind. Right, so. So to calculate a relative weight is association, which is 9 for clean facilities and for type of tiles, times the absolute weight. You get 243. Okay. For dirt resistance of floor tiles is also the same answer, 243. For seed materials, okay, anybody can help me with seed materials? How do I get 351? How do I get this? Um, 3 times 27 plus 9 times 30. Yeah. yeah. Lily has already got it, right? So the answer is 351. So it's the same as server training and also the same for menu standardization. Okay. So after you've done that, Right? You must calculate the total. The whole total of absolute weight and relative weight. Okay? Can you calculate what is the value here? The value. 81 plus 81 plus 81 plus 80 plus 93. 416. Okay? Somebody told me 416. How about here? The value. Total the sum of 243 plus 243 plus 3551 plus 595 plus 744. Right? 2176. Okay? Please, I know there's in the book, but please remember the steps. I don't want you to get confused. This is the in the exam where student, is very easy, but student get it wrong. Okay? Student get it wrong because they get confused what to plus, right? What to divide. Okay? Okay, so we go to the next diagram. Okay? To get the absolute factor and relative factor, you divide the absolute weight with the sum. Then you get this value over here. Oops, then you get this value. You get this value. Okay. The same with relative factor. Okay, you divide the relative weight with the total sum. Then you will get this value. Everybody got the answer? Everybody understand? Right. Okay. All of you understand? Good. So now what? We already calculate. We already know what where we are. Assessment. We got the absolute weight. We got the absolute weight for the this is absolute weight for the customer okay this is absolute weight for the technical requirements so we have all this what what do we have to do all right so if you look at it remember i told you you use qfd to make decisions right to make improvement decisions so 
Okay, because oh, the text is so far away. See, final evaluation. The relative and absolute weight for technical requirements are evaluated to determine what engineering decisions need to be made to improve the design based on customer input. Because you, your calculation is based on customer input, right? What is important to them. The venture is performed by computing a percentage weight factor for each of the absolute weight and relative weight numbers. Right? So the answer is what? The standardized money has the very high relative importance. So it gives the result of focus for the coming period. So what it means is, okay, so you look at this. Menu standardization has the highest score for both the absolute weight and the relative weight. So, here, 0.34 and 0.22. So, if the restaurant wants to improve on their technical uh, requirements, so they have to improve, your engineering decision is to improve menu standardization because that is what customer prefer. Right? Customer prefer menu standardization. Okay? Yeah, any question? Okay, it's not that difficult, right? Once you understand it. Okay, we're just going to look at QFD, okay? Please understand. If you don't understand here, Please understand it when you're at home. Okay? Of course, you're at home. Later. Okay? You have to look at this. Design for manufacture method. Design for maintainability. Design for reliability, we have to look at it, right? FMEA is um is just apa nama dia? You identify the failure modes, okay? Before before it happens, possibly, okay? This is how FMEA works. Please read. This is all how to, you know, to do designing, so, uh, environmental for design. We have looked at it already. Okay, we have finished this chapter. Right? Okay, can we, can okay, we still have time? Can we do this? Can we do problem four? For the QFD problem for matrix, complete the following. So you have to, customer requirements, absolute weight, you should know where it is. Technical requirement, absolute weight and factor. Technical requirement, relative weight and factor. So and factor, okay. You must, customer, here is the absolute weight for the customer. Okay, can you calculate now? Can you do the exercise now? This is on page 201. Question 4. Is five minutes enough?
you must know what this means. Okay, the dot, the black dot, and the triangle. What is their value? I will call your name. Okay, for the first, are you are you guys okay? Are you done? Everybody finish? No, not yet.
Okay, I want one person to answer for absolute weight for A. Everybody will have the chance to answer. What is the absolute weight for A? Nine, doctor. Yeah? Nine. Nine? Nine. Okay, three times three is nine, nine. right? Are you sure it's nine? Thirty. Yes, it's thirty. <laughs> See, if you hear three times three plus nine times three, then it's thirty. Okay, so you must plus. Right. How about the absolute weight for B? B is what? This one is the value of the white circle is 3. So 3 times what? Right? Three times four. Okay, you get 32. Okay, please understand this. If not, it's difficult for you to do your homework. Right? For C, what is the absolute weight for C? C. Three. Eh, sorry, this value is what? One. One times what? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's sorry, fine for the right or the dark. Yeah, I, I got confused. Okay, right? Okay, betul, betul. Right? I see, I even buat selalu pun confused. One, 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 one. Okay. Dah dapat dah semua? How about E? One. E is one, right. Okay. E is one. Okay. So, what is the next step? What is the next step after you got the absolute weight? What is the next step? Come on, guys. What is the next step? Count the absolute weight. Yes, you find the absolute weight and the relative weight of the technical requirement. Okay, so the first absolute weight, berapa? Nine. 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 Okay, nine. Three times three, nine. Okay, how about the next one? Seven. Seven. The next one? Twenty nine. Twenty? Nine. Twenty nine. How about the four requirement for? Fifteen. Fifteen. The last one? Eleven. Are you sure eleven? Yeah, yeah. One time. Okay. Eleven. Right? Okay. For relative weights. Okay. That means you answered question one and question two. Question three, part of part of question uh, B and part of question C, right? So you must find the relative weight for the for the technical requirement. Okay, what is this relative weight? What value is that? Ninety. Ninety lagi. This one. Okay. 
one times berapa? 42. 42, okay. For technical requirement 3. Two seven four, right? A few of you put to the two seven four. Technical requirement four. Ninety nine, ah, yeah, ninety nine. The last number five technical requirement. Thirteen, right? Thirteen, cause I, yeah, I got thirteen. How about twelve? It's thirteen. Okay. okay, what is the next step now? After you got the absolute weight and the relative weight, what is the next step? Total sum, yeah. So you sum up the absolute weight and relative weight. What is the absolute sum for absolute weight? 71. 71, good. The sum for relative weight? Five one eight, right? Somebody uh, wrote five one eight. Okay, good. So, what is the next step? We have to find what after you get the sum here yeah, for absolute weight and relative weight. What do you have to do? You find the absolute factor. Good, Balkis. Okay, you find the absolute factor. Okay, what is the absolute factor for technical requirement one? 0.13 Okay, 0 0.13 or 0 0.12, something like that, okay? Then for technical requirement 2? 0 0.10 0 0.10 Okay Then uh, number 3? Technical requirement 3, 0 0.41. Technical requirement 4, 0 0.21. 0 0.21. 0 0.21. This one, 0 0.1 berapa? 0 0.15. 5. Okay. So for relative factor, the first one, berapa? Point berapa? Point one seven, right? Number two, point for number for technical requirement two, point zero eight. Okay, number three, point five two or five three. Number four, point one nine. Number five, okay, 0.025 or 0.03, right. Okay, that you answer question four, A, B, C, D. Okay, usually students, they, do, they just, uh, calc they calculate correctly, either they calculate wrongly or they calculate correctly, but they don't answer the D question. Which design and technical factors should be emphasized and why? Okay, you must answer that question. This I found a lot in the exam. They got so excited because they know how to calculate and then they forget to answer. Even when they are doing SPC, right? Statistical process control. Even if they are doing KLQFD. They always forget the last question. Because why? Okay, after you get this, why? You must answer that question. Okay, so which design and technical factor should be emphasized? One, two, three, four, or five? Which should be em emphasized?
Hmm? Some of you say number three. Can you give me a reason? Come on. Why? Why? Why do you? Why do you emphasize number three? Technical requirement three. Yeah, you put the highest absolute factor and relative factor. Okay, why? Why? Because of what? Come on. At least you can on your mic. I know the rule is highest mark change, but why? Why do you need to change? So, why? Remember when we look at the slides, we say you want to make what? Decisions. So, what kind of decisions that we want to do? This is you must have a purpose, okay? You must have a purpose of why, okay? If you don't give the answer, that means you are just giving me data that I, I don't know what to do, right? If I click, okay, you just give me a bunch of data here, like this. Why? You should say that, right? In order, but you, you must look at the question, what they ask, right? In order for the, the uh, here I'm talking about restaurant, okay? Uh, in order for the restaurant to improve, so the best is uh, from the calculation from the QFT, you, it's better, the best is to improve on menu standardization because they will, because it needs, right, the customer, what the customer wants, right, the customer preference. Okay, maybe um, this restaurant, the customer doesn't want to, to think a lot. They want easy, easy to look at the menu. That's why they prefer menu standardization. So in answer the question, you use your, your brain, your brain, okay, use your brain. Give a concrete answer. Don't give me, oh, because it is high. Because the value is high. Why? That means it is the most, that means that technical requirement meet what the customer wants, the customer preference. So if you are improving things that you like, the customer like, of course, customer will come to your restaurant or customer will buy your products. That means you will improve your profit margin. See, all this blah, 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 you can say. Uh, don't give a one-line answer. Okay? Understand? Do you understand? I hope that all of you got the book. Okay.
So, um, understand me, okay? So, as homework, I want you to do... I want you to do number five, okay? Please do number five. And you you make, you draw this, draw the um, house of quality. Besides putting the answer here, I want you to show your working, okay? I don't want you to know like, you just guess or you copy. I want you, I want to know, okay? For absolute weight of customer requirement, what do you times? How do you get? How you come up with that figure? Same here. Absolute weight for uh, technical requirement one. How do you come up with that figure? I want to see. Okay. You can do by hand or you can do by um, using Excel or Word. But please convert to PDF with you um, if you send to classroom. Because it's much easier for me to check. Okay. Question five as homework. Okay. Any any other question? Any other question, guys? Okay. This is the first time class with that question when I teach you FD. Oh. <laughs> Okay, if there's no question, then okay, you please do your homework. I will open up uh, uh, the uh, um, the online learning as well as the classroom. Okay, please submit both, right? For the classroom, it's easy for me to check. Online learning is, you know, at least there's a record. UUM will check that you, you do submit your homework, okay? Okay, thank you. I'll see you in the next class so we, you can uh, you can scan your attendance. Okay. Have a nice weekend. I'll see you on um, Sunday. Thank you.